Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck we have the devil in the reverse and this is capricorn energy so this is a card of freeing yourself from some sort of toxic attachment or addiction um there's something here about bringing good health to a situation you know taking a healthy approach with something and also just not being in bondage anymore especially if something felt like it was controlling you or someone was controlling or a connection was making you feel like you had to be controlling there's something about freeing yourself from that releasing those bonds okay so let's see okay we have the two of wands fire energy the five of swords air energy and the moon in the reverse pisces energy yeah it looks like there's someone here where there's a lack of compatibility or that you and this person just always end up not seeing eye to eye you know the five of swords is there's there's rivalry there's vindictiveness there's uh conflict and there's something about walking away from that person or that situation just because it is quite low vibrational or it makes you feel bad about yourself. You know, there's something about freeing yourself and seeing someone or something for what it is. Because the moon in the reverse is like seeing through an illusion. You know, it's like you could have been viewing this person through rose colored glasses or they could have kept a lot of things from you in order to manipulate or deceive you. And it's like the veil has been lifted because the moon is in the reverse and there's this feeling of being able to let go and see what else is out there seeing what your other options are recognizing that you have options you know kind of opening yourself up to new opportunities so let's clarify these cards for us Okay, we have the king of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so you could have a lot of love for this person but there's something about your connection that was unhealthy there could have been codependency this does show almost like a, a quiet kind of love like this is that unconditional love caring for per for a person but also taking a more mature approach to the situation you know being emotionally mature and intelligent and not acting impulsively okay so let's see Okay, we have the Empress, Venus energy, the Judgment card, Scorpio energy, and the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so it looks like there's a break here, a temporary break though, because with the Judgment card, there's a feeling of a, a possible second chance or a reunion, but there's also an energy of making a final decision about this connection. This could be a connection that you went back and forth with, and you were very patient with this person, with this situation. But it's like a decision needs to be made and you, you're at this point where you are clear enough with yourself that you're able to make this final judgment call you know and with the empress you know your worth there's a message of not settling for less than what you deserve you know even if you love this person there's something about doing what's best for you honoring yourself respecting yourself okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you taurus Okay, we have it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio so yeah you're, you're freeing yourself you're letting something go something that was really dragging you down something that was toxic okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you
can we have heart to heart conversations? Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so you could actually end up having some sort of communication with someone that helps you kind of arrive at a decision and helps you make some sort of final judgment call. Okay, so I'm gonna put another card for you for it. Okay, we have dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Okay, so it does look like there's something that wasn't a temptation for you here. This is also an energy of getting out of your comfort zone, doing something that you're afraid to do. Um, you know, and especially if you've been under that devil influence or that devil energy, it's it's like you could even view uh, freeing yourself as something scary, like the unknown. But there is a message here of being brave, you know, taking a chance in favor of your self-love. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, we have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.